Hi, Rainer Hirsch here. If you've ever seen an orchestra, you've probably tried to make a connection between what the conductor is doing and what's going on in the music. Actually, if you've ever played in an orchestra, you might have tried to do the same. What on earth do a conductor's gestures mean? In this video, I'm going to tell you about one of the most important things a conductor can be showing with their gestures, the beat. Whatever kind you like, all music has got some sort of regular pulse running through it. This is the beat. If your thing is rock or pop music, the pulse is easy to spot because it's almost always being pumped out by the drummer. So if instead of rocking out at a concert, you decided you were going to clap along to your favorite group, apart from looking like a dork, it's the drummer you clap along to. In classical music, the pulse or beat is more subtle, but it's still there. If you were at a classical concert, worked out where the pulse was, then clapped along, you wouldn't look like a dork, but you would look like a bit of a weirdo and they would chuck you out because, well, it's classical music and them's the rules. Except in a couple of special pieces where everybody does it. Stop that! Also, and very unlike rock or pop, in classical music the pulse tends not to be altogether regular. Sometimes it slows down, sometimes it speeds up, and sometimes it just stops altogether for a moment or two. In order for the music to sound expressive and not like it's being played by a computer, it's often doing something, the beat in classical music, not just landing in the same place in the same tempo over and over again. That's why, and especially because there's no drummer, in order for them to play together, classical orchestras use someone to show them what's going on with the beat, the conductor. Now, for very regular music, with no funny business like speeding up or slowing down, there can be not much for that conductor to do. And for more about that, check out my other video, Does an Orchestra Need a Conductor? Link below. But whatever the style, whatever the speed, in music, some beats just seem more important than others. If you play an instrument or read music, you'll find this easier. But for now, let me just tell you that there are one or two styles where only one out of every two beats feels important. One important followed by one less important. Here's a piece where it's only one out of three. One out of four. And so on. The number of beats between each of the important ones is referred to by musicians as the number of beats in the bar. When showing the beat, a conductor uses a system of generally agreed patterns which match these beats in the bar. Now, there are some slightly different versions of this, but whichever one the conductor is using, the important strong beat is always given down and center, and the other beats are given a regular arrangement around that. When conductors are not practicing telling everybody to smile, pulling faces, throwing tantrums, counting the money they're going to be paid, they will often stand in front of mirrors practicing these patterns so they're ready for whatever music comes along. Here are all the beat pans. This is one, now two, now three, now four, now five, now six, seven, eight, Nine. Ten. Eleven. And finally, twelve. Yeah, right. Pans for one, two, three, and four beats in the bar, fair enough, but five? Who's ever going to want to do the five beats in the bar pattern? Well, the theme tune to Mission Impossible's in five. All right, seven. The theme from Ant-Man. Eleven. 
11. The music for the results page of Mario Kart 64. And every single one of them occurs at some point in the Rite of Spring by Igor Stravinsky, which has bars with different numbers of beats jumbled up one after the other. So how do you conduct that? Well, you jump around between your patterns. Actually, in some ways, because getting the patterns right so that the musicians know where they are is so important, conducting the Rite of Spring is not as horrific as you might think. You just have to be on the ball, know what pattern comes next, and be clear. OK, got it. But why does the conductor show all the beats? Why not just show the important, strong one? In an orchestra, remember that not everybody is playing all the time. If the piece has four beats in the bar, say, and the violas are supposed to start playing on beat three, they're going to be pretty interested in beats one and two. Then you've got to remember that the pulse in classical music is flexible, with small variations here and there. If the musicians only saw the one important pulse and none of the others between, any speeding up, slowing down, or emphasis that happened with those other beats would be lost. Having said that, if the piece speeds up so much that showing all the beats made the conductor look like he or she was swatting a fly, yes, they will ditch the others and only give the important one. This, of course, means they're only doing a fraction of the work, but does that mean they only get a fraction of the pay? <laughs> no. All right then. So the conductor beats the beat, got it. So what's with this guy? He's a conductor. Actually, Leonard Bernstein, one of the world's great conductors. So why isn't he beating the beat? Remember, regular music, no funny business. There can be not much for a conductor to do, especially with top quality professional musicians. Here it's two regular beats in a bar and everybody can turn to two, right? Except for maybe the brass section, but that's another story. But interesting, isn't it? All the gestures you'll notice from a conductor when you're no longer distracted by them beating the beat. The gestures can be tiny, facial movements even, devoting their entire attention to showing how the music goes. The expression, the phrasing. What do you mean, the expression, the phrasing? Well, that's another video. What conductors do when they're not reminding everyone to smile, pulling faces, throwing tantrums, counting the money, or beating the beat. And until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.